Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. You're watching I Allegedly. And uh, I've got a good one for you today. I'm in Laguna Beach at Main Beach. And uh, after all those big waves, I've got all the seaweed out there. It's drying out. The tide will eventually take that in. But there is a lot of stuff to cover today. And uh, before we do, I always get a kick out of this sign here, which is the tsunami sign. And uh, hey, if there's an earthquake, get to higher ground. So you, you, the last place you want to be is here. Um, before I get into it, please take a second. Please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. Share it with everybody. Don't forget, if you guys are in the real estate market for foreclosures, foreclosure.com did the coolest thing where they're giving away. If you sign up for their seven day trial, they're gonna choose one lucky person a week from Friday to win a three month free foreclosure.com uh, access. Very cool. So if you want the latest uh, foreclosures, short sales, bankruptcy sales, they're all on that site. Use the link below, sign up, get the seven day trial and one lucky person's getting three months free. Now let's get into it. You guys are not nuts right now. We are living through some crazy economic times right now. And one thing that I'm very lucky is that I keep getting emails from so many people around the globe that are just experiencing mayhem and craziness that you have to look at. And the first thing is the Bank of England raised their prime lending rate half a percent. And that's a big deal. They have not done that that high since 1960, since they started keeping records. They haven't done it since then. Now, here's the thing about this. You've got to look at this because you can sit there and say, okay, it's at 1.75% for their prime lending rate. Who cares? Why is this a big deal? Because they've raised their prime lending rate to the highest rate since the 1960s. And that's a big deal right now. But the biggest thing, think about this. This is in England. This is in the UK. They're telling people that inflation between now and October is going to hit 13%. It's already there at 13%, guys. It's not gonna hit anything. That's a lie that we're all being told that inflation, you know, in the UK is at 7.9%. It's at 9.1% here. It's not true. Absolutely not true. Everything has gone up threefold in the last year. You know, you've seen energy prices go up almost 50%. You're seeing uh, food go up 40%, but we're supposed to believe that it's gonna hit 13%. That being said, guys, That'd be the second highest inflation rate, you know, in England ever. Okay. And again, the, our inflation rate was sky high in the seventies and it hit 14%. That's the first thing that's important. Now, energy costs in England, especially for their businesses, their businesses right now are going to see a five fold increase in the price of energy over the next few months. So, you know, if you're paying hundred dollars a month for your electrical bill, in England, you're going to pay $500 a month. You're going to see that happen here in the States as well because, you know, summer only lasts so long. The good weather only lasts so long. And then guess what? It starts to cool off. And the thing that, you know, I hate cold weather and I hate that September rolls around and all of a sudden it gets chilly. Okay. We're here in California. We can have hot days in October and have that happen. But businesses in the UK are going to experience a five-fold price increase for energy and all of this the half uh, percent increase in the uh, prime lending rate the energy costs are blaming it 100 percent on uh, Vladimir Putin and the war with Ukraine which is shenanigans the fact that they printed money and threw it at everybody in England is a problem but guess what we did the same thing here so in England there are you know tens of thousands of businesses that are going to stiff the government and again, I spoke to people today, they're like, ah, who cares? Okay. <laughs> okay, remember you said that because it's not gonna be who cares when the S hits the fan. So there's that. We're seeing such a problem with gas prices and everybody's talking about one of two things, either, hey, gas prices are going down, there's nothing to worry about, but then you look at diesel and you look at delivery costs that are going through the flipping roof right now. Think about this right now, because this is insane. In Vancouver, Wayne wrote me, and Dan, I've had to go to five gas stations to get gas because the gas stations are empty, but diesel is out, okay, in all of Vancouver area. 
So there's a shortage, okay? Look at the story below, but this is serious, guys. This is when you take it seriously, when there's no fuel. What do you do? I tell everybody, gas up, get ready, and make sure you have as much gas in your car at all times because you don't know when this is gonna hit. If you didn't have gas, what would you do, okay? Well, Wayne had to go to multiple stations before he finally found gas for his car. And the stories about the shortages there are, are awful, but the prices now are also sky high. Now, we're seeing a lot more people write about the problem with businesses not being open right now and going out of business, or, you know, or, or potentially going out of business. We're seeing a lot of shenanigans right now with them not being able to take credit cards. Some can only take cash. Some can't take cash. They can only take credit cards. It, it's getting crazy. It's getting really eerie because there's no rhyme or reason to this. You've got some places that don't take it and some places that do. Let me show you a perfect example. Now, Juan was in downtown LA today and he went to a subway, no cash accepted. And they had signs on the building. And then at the end of the day, he's like, what is going on, Dan? Because take my son to a restaurant called Ono Ono, which is a Hawaiian, Hawaiian uh, barbecue place where they get the grilled chicken and stuff like that and the grilled ribs and things like that. And uh, uh, neat place to eat at. But again, uh, no cash, guys, no cash at all. And then William, I love this one. William sends me a video that is not safe for work. So it's not safe for the channel because it was a profanity uh, riddled tirade about how he went and bought two burritos. And hey, I want a bean and cheese burrito. Can you add rice to that? And they charged him $3 a scoop for rice on each burrito to where the burritos were $20, two burritos. So he's just lost it. And it was funny, but again, um, something I can't share with you guys because of uh, how he expressed himself. Let's put it that way. But I appreciate the content, okay, to say the least. So we're seeing so much of this right now, okay? So, you know, what are you guys seeing, okay? I'm getting pictures from Walmarts around the country showing how destroyed the Walmarts are right now. So crazy, guys. Absolutely crazy. But you got to take this seriously. Now, next thing is the pension. I want you to think about this. Unfunded pensions. Let's just use the state of California. The state of California has unfunded pensions to the tune of $99 billion. Now, what that means is... The state employees that were promised health care, they've got a $99 billion bill for the state of California alone. That is insane, guys. It's, it's, it, you cannot, it's insurmountable. I mean, you, you cannot get over that. It, the, the, there's no way that we're going to come up with the money for this to where people are going to be able to pay this. So, you know, Illinois just voted. Think about this that uh, their state legislature, because I haven't confirmed this yet, somebody just called me and told me this one. State of Illinois voted that all their pensions and health care has to be paid first before any tax dollar can be spent anyplace else. Gosh, guys, that's insane, guys. So the state of Illinois, Chicago, the crime zone, the war zone, the insanity is only going to get worse, guys. But don't worry, you know, your state employees, they're going to get to go see their doctor and have that be paid for. So... Make it up, guys, because it's nuts out there right now. So this is beautiful down here. You know, it's a different look when you see this thing. It's just been, you know, all those big waves last week. Everything gets ravaged. Eventually, this stuff will, the tide will come in and rinse all this away and uh, make it look nice again, okay? There's a lot more to cover in the video. You know, with that last video that I talked about all the barbecues at Walmart, Chris lives in Jefferson City, Tennessee. He went to the Walmart there and they just got their summer delivery yesterday. So he took a bunch of pictures. Take a look at this. These are barbecues, guys, delivered in August that they're not going to sell because of the late deliveries, okay? This is crazy, guys. This is, you know, this is completely off. There is a railway problem and Walmart is saying that they may not have Christmas goods this year on time. Guys, it is August, the first week of August. 
and they're worried about not having Christmas items. This is insanity. But so many people are riding me and showing me the storage units and the excess uh, uh, inventory that Walmart has, but that's nuts, guys. These barbecues to finally be delivered now where people are not gonna buy these. They'll be giving them away. You get a cup of coffee, you'll get a free barbecue at Walmart, I'm sure. Jim talked to somebody, a friend of his, that works at the distribution center for Walmart. They cut everybody's uh, time, their uh, work time off 25%. So, guys, I, aren't we busy? Aren't people buying stuff? I guess not. So they're doing that. Now, guys, it's, it, it's too much, okay? Too much is happening. People are not, you know, people are not buying things right now this summer. You're not seeing the purchases happen that you have in previous summers. It's just not happening right now, guys. Now, Dean wrote me from Pennsylvania, and he brought up such great points in his email and that's this and that is what's gonna happen when the average family runs out of money and they don't have any more credit the average family spending between hundred and fifty and two hundred dollars a week extra on gasoline and on food right now they don't have that money guys they cannot afford this right now and you guys if you don't see this as a huge problem if you don't see this that this is bankrupting the middle class right now before our eyes and it's doing it around the globe it's not just here it's in every country this inflation spike and you can blame Vladimir Putin all you want guys this is ridiculous Vladimir Putin has nothing to do with those barbecues getting there by Memorial Day and again people don't have the money to buy the barbecue right now so this is going to be a really really interesting time to see what happens but you know he's absolutely right where do you come up with hundred and fifty dollars more a week seriously I don't know how people do this right now people are cutting things out of their lives just to get by right now so share your thoughts and all this stuff guys because it's nuts right now you know it's crazy uh, mortgage rates dropped just below 5% and we're supposed to jump up and down for that and uh, a couple of real estate agents reach out to me they go this is the last hurrah Dan people are going to be able to get their dream home and get a decent rate okay it's doubled still it's double what it was a year ago as far as the interest rates and number two you're seeing people go out and spending much more money for a home than they did a year ago how about no how about just wait how about just get off the crack pipe and the real estate pipe and just I mean these people are sucking exhaust right now and it's ridiculous but the realtors I'm gonna sell one more house it's so great. I, I, I got good buyers and I got, they're qualified. I bet they are, you know? So people are going to run themselves into the ground. You're going to see such a bankruptcy festival as a result of all this. And you're going to see lives destroyed, businesses destroyed, marriages destroyed, everything as a result of all this. But don't worry about it. They're going to get into a house for a year and a half or so. Okay, it's going to be awesome. Okay? So share your thoughts on all this stuff, guys, because again, Real estate, you know, I, I think it's the most precarious thing right now that we're in, we have right now. And when you look at all the energy problems and all the delivery problems and everything else with business right now, you've got to take this seriously, that this is a double-edged sword that is about to come crashing down on everybody. So let me know what you guys think about this, because I think it's nuts right now, to say the least. Plus, um, take a look at this car I found. I think, it's, I think this is insane, too but share your thoughts on all this stuff. What do you guys think of this thing? It's three-wheeled. Trike, I guess. Does that look like fun? It looks like it'd be fun for about 10 minutes. Show your thoughts. I'll open. Single wheel in the back. Eh. What do you guys think? I'm sure, it's outrageously expensive, and uh, uh, again, there's no top. So, share your thoughts on that. What do you guys think of that thing? A great story somebody sent me out of Canada, and that is 49% of all Canadians have more debt than they've had ever in their lives. 68% of those people are very, very worried about their debt 
that they will never be able to pay it off. Well, okay guys, that's horrific, okay? The majority of those people, again, over 50% said they would take on more debt right now just to get by. Okay, the recipe for disaster continues. Now, small businesses, Gerald Storch, who's he? He's the former CEO of Toys R Us. And Toys R Us, they want to have a, a reopening to the stores. They want to get people revamped and reinvigorated for the Toys R Us brand. But this guy steps forward and says, you're going to see more bankruptcies and more casualties with small business in the next six months than you've ever seen ever in the history of the Republic. That's crazy, guys. So this guy is saying that they don't have the access to money, they don't have the access to credit. And again, credit to pay a bill is one thing, but credit for inventory, they don't have it right now. So you're gonna see people go out of business right now, and this guy is saying that it's going to be uh, mid-sized uh, stores as well as the mom and pop stores, and it's not just the toy industry, it's everything. But we're seeing that, guys. We're seeing everything get affected by this right now. So. You know, share your thoughts on all this stuff, guys, because the, you know, my kids aren't of the toy buying age, you know, and I spent a lot of money at Toys R Us. It was one up the street from us. But this guy's talking about how it's over, Johnny, and people need to get themselves ready for this. Now, you have to look at this, okay? You have to take this seriously because businesses, countries, everybody's doing something different. Look at what rich people do. Peter Schiff has a great article in his blog right now that I'm sharing with you guys about how more central banks around the world are buying precious metals. They're buying gold and they're stacking up on it. Now, think about this. Not a couple hundred thousand dollars worth, not a million dollars worth. How about eight tons of gold? Iraq, eight tons of gold. Ubikstein, eight tons of gold. I mean, crazy guys that you're seeing all these different countries step forward with their central banks and buy gold as a hedge against the end of the world that's about to happen economically. So, you know, I have always been a proponent for precious metals and I think it's great, but you're gonna see that step forward and in, in, it's gonna become a reality when you see all these countries doing this. But read the Peter Schiff article and uh, uh, it's a great article, okay? But again, they're all hedging themselves against what's happening right now. So share your thoughts on all this stuff, guys, because do you care about the experts? Do you care about this? You know, Elon Musk steps forward and says, listen, I think we're gonna have a recession, but I think it's gonna be a mild one, and it's only gonna be about 18 months long. Guys, that's enough to put uh, the majority of you guys out of business to where you'll lose your home and you'll have no money at all. So do you see the se uh, severity of that? Because I do. And again, go buy an electric car, go do this. It's crazy, but you know, for everybody out there that loves that guy, there's kind of a truthful statement that he's talking about how we are going to have recessionary times during this time. And we need to take this seriously. But use this time, guys. Get yourself ready. Save money, get your bills paid off. I had an extra vehicle in my house and uh, started to look around different places on what I could sell the thing for. I was shocked at what they were still gonna give me for this thing, okay? 2005, old car. But the only thing that this thing had going for it is it has no miles on it because I knew the person that owned it before my daughter owned it, okay? And time to sell the thing, okay? You know, under 85,000 miles on the thing, just crazy. But the, the amount of money that I got for the car was insane right now. Look at this right now, guys. If you have extra anything, you know, go out there and do it. Go out there and unload it right now because it's the people will not have money six months from now. They just won't. And I don't think I'd ever get more money for that car than I did right now for it. Okay. So share your thoughts on all this stuff. You know, I was talking to uh, uh, the economic ninja today about this and uh, you know how to sell things, how to get rid of stuff, and. Uh, you know, I have somebody that uh, sold, uh, you know, $5,400 worth of uh, goods, and he has somebody that had sold over $10,000 worth of stuff. So unload it, guys. Get rid of it. You know, use the different online sources and unload it as quick as you can. Okay? Share your thoughts on all this stuff, guys. Here's something that's very interesting. Right before the Great Depression, 
uh, happened in the crash of 29, when the stock market crashed on that Tuesday, there were hundreds of car manufacturers on the New York Stock Exchange. A lot of people don't know that. Everybody thinks that there were just three or four car makers during that time. The crazy thing about this is that we have an eerie, um, it's eerily similar to what it is right now, guys. There's so many car manufacturers. Have you ever heard of the car manufacturer at Lordstown? Well, Lordstown is finally going to go into production to make their new electric vehicle for all of us, but they need another $61 million or they may go bankrupt for all their investors. I have never heard of Lordstown Motors until I read this story today and in and, and making this video. It's crazy. So we're seeing that, guys. You're going to see the car industry completely contract like you've never seen. During the Great Depression, it was fascinating because the car industry, they lost about 40% of their sales during that time and it completely shut down. All dealerships shut down, car manufacturers shut down. They lost hundreds of billions of hundreds of millions of dollars, which is the equivalent of, you know, tens of billions of dollars today. And uh, crazy, but you have to look at this stuff, guys, because we're living through, it's, it's repeating itself right now. Now, here's the thing. I always get these great articles sent to me about from study finds and things like that. Here's one of them that says what the best and worst foods are. Think about this. If you eat a hot dog, it says that it will shorten your life by 36 minutes every time you eat a hot dog. So it's like smoking a cigarette, I guess, if you eat a hot dog. Uh, the next thing is a soft drink. That's 20 some minutes. Uh, double cheeseburgers, like 18 minutes off your life, which is insane. I love stuff like this, but it's nuts. The best thing you can eat is baked salmon, which tastes like crap, but you can eat baked salmon. And, uh, you know, it, it gets nuts, guys, when you do this. Now, the final story, which is, I don't even know this was a story because it was sent to me and I had to look it up. McDonald's is giving up on the McPlant. The McPlant. What in the hell is the McPlant? So, again, there was no field trip, guys, for McDonald's with their plant-based food. Does that sound disgusting? McPlant, McSaucy Jack. I mean, how disgusting is that? So the McPlant didn't sell and they're going to discontinue it for all of us. Who knew, guys? Please do not forget to hit the like button. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's always beautiful to come out here. Times like this, just absolutely stunning. Um, uh, please don't forget, if you want the free trial for foreclosure.com, use the link below. But one lucky person a week from Friday is going to uh, get chosen for that and get three months free. Onward and upward, guys. Reach out. I will see you guys very soon.